uh, for my to finish off 2019. So what happened was I only needed like October, November, December, and I couldn't find the calendar that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So I bought another one for 2020. And as I was looking for one for 2019, I was like, well, you know what, let me just go ahead and um, just make, you know, a couple of pages because it's only for three months anyway. Well, actually two and a half. So I went ahead and just designed my own pages. So I want to show you guys what I did. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I created it on Canva. I am um, a certified Canva creative, which means that um, when they drop new uh, features to their program, um, I'm one of the people to kind of get first dibs on trying it out, you know, working out the kinks, providing feedback and all that good stuff. So some of the features that you may see, you may or may not have access to, um, only because it may not have rolled out yet. Also, if you have the free version as opposed to the pro, that may be another reason. However, I will leave a link underneath the comments, I mean, underneath this video so that you can um, try the pro version for free if you um, click my affiliate link. So I this is the calendar that I, I created and it's really, really simple. Um, I just basically, like I said, I just needed something to finish out the year. So see, I'm gonna try to show it a little bit differently. Um, I just made it so that like it has October 2019. So this is for the month of October. This is November. And then this is like the daily, um, for my daily schedule. So I'm going to show you how I did this. And I'm gonna show you pretty quickly. Also, um, the links underneath the video, I will provide one where you can actually grab this um, for free. And then I'll provide one where you can get the, um, the free one will only be for one month. And then I'll provide one where you can get it for um, purchase the whole, you know, from January to December, I'll finish it out and do January for, for December and I'll put that in my shop. It'll come in size A5 and letter size. And then I'll also provide the temp template, excuse me, so that you can go ahead and make updates and changes as you want to do for your own particular planner. So I did October, I did November, so I'm going to do December. So what I'm going to do is to show you how to do it from scratch, I'm just going to add a page. I'm going to come down here and add it. Let me see, did I already add a page? Let's see. I think I already added a page. Okay. So I'm going to go right here and add a new page. And then the first thing I did was I actually just went over here to um, elements and I just typed in the word, the month. So I'm going to type in December and see what comes up. And if you click on free, then you'll only get the options that are free and not the ones where you have to pay. So December is free. So it's right here. And this color is already the color that they have. So I'm just going to work with that color. So everything will be in this color. So next up is going to be the um, grid. So what I did was I inserted a box. So let's do square. And let me see. And it may be slightly off but you'll get the general gist of how to create it. And when you purchase it, it'll be, um, it won't be off. Of course, it'll be correct. So push this right here. Mm, we'll drag it in a little bit and then move December over, pull this down. Let Canva tell me that it's in the center. Say, so I have that. And then the next one, I think I did lines. So the line, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Where'd it go? There it is. Change that. You know, but let's just go ahead and do everything in the color. So we're going to make this the color of December. Um, go ahead and thin this out. Let me see. And I think it's five lines, maybe. Let me see. One, two, three, four. All right. So it's about four lines. So let's see. One. And then hit duplicate. And let's see, play with the space in a little bit. And if I need to adjust it, I will, which I see I do. So let's make this a little bit bigger. 
Um, and if you hear my children in the background, I was going to say I apologize, but I'm not going to apologize because I am a mom of five. However, I will just kind of give you a heads up <laughs> that you will hear my kids in the background. So then the lines is one, two, three. So we're going to do three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit one of the lines and hit duplicate and then just turn it. That's one, two. Was it three lines? Let me see. One, two, yep, three lines. All right. So one, two, three. And then we'll go ahead and try to space that out a little bit. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, undo that. I didn't mean to move create. Let me see. And you got to kind of play with it a little bit to kind of see how you want to do it. I think we move this one over a little bit and then just drag it down. And camera makes it real easy to do this because it has all types of um, measures in place to make sure that everything comes out properly. So I think that's off a little bit. Let me see. I don't like the way this one looks. I think that's better. All right. So now we have the squares. So then next we have um, the shaded squares. So I'm going to type in square again. And this time I'm going to choose the one that's shaded and change the color. And I'm going to make it transparent. Let's, see, let's make it like that. Because I want it to be dark enough so that you can see it. All right. Oops. Undo. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it out up here. Now, because I can't really see it, see, I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm make it 125. So I just want to make sure that it's not, um, it's not too, it's not going like over the edge like that or anything, which I don't think it is. That one, I still see some white. So that means I need to move it up a bit. All right. So then this, and the neat thing about Canva, if you see the purple lines, that's basically showing you that it lines up with everything else. Now, once you do one of these, I will say the easy part is just changing it. Like once I did October, November was real easy because all I had to do really was just um, duplicate the copy the page and then just like change the colors and the words and stuff. But um, just for like I said, purposes of this, I just kind of want you to um, I want you to see exactly how I started it. So now, like I said, I'm just adding the squares. I think I got. Oops, let me undo that. I'm gonna do this one instead. Two and two, three, four. Duplicate that. Push it over. And I think what I'm gonna try to do for the second set, I'm gonna try to um, duplicate this page and then just make the necessary changes. I'm gonna see if um, if I'm able to do that. So so that way it's not taking up too much time. Hold on, that's too far out. I just saw that. There we go. So I will say you do have to kind of play with this, this you know, to get it how you need it to be. So that looks about right. So now what I'm going to do is, and I'll go ahead and make this fit the page. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the second page. And the second page um, is going, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't add the words. Oh my gosh, hold on. <laughs> I forgot to add the words. Okay, so... Let's make December a little bit smaller. Text. Um, let me see, which text did I use? Let's see. Glacier, okay. And it might automatically pop up, I'm not too sure. Um, text. Let's see, that's one. Let's change it to Glacier. All right, and then, let me see. Go back up to the top. Is that Glacier? That might not have been Glacier. Let me see. Did that look kind of... Oh, it was. 17.3 Glacier in bold. So we're going to come back down here. Make this 17.3 Glacier. Make it bold. Make it... There we go. All right. So now we're going to type this in for Sunday. And center it. Move December up. Let me see, it'll make it a little bit smaller because I don't really want it. I don't want it touching Sunday, but I don't want it to um, touch the top either. So sometimes you got to kind of play with it 
to see, you know, how to make it work. So I'm gonna pull this up this way, I think. And then pull this over. See how the lines are popping up? So that's, there we go. So now I'm gonna duplicate that. And the reason why I personally duplicate it, because then it makes it easier for me, because then all I really have to do is just um, basically just change the words. All right, and you see the lines forming to help make sure I'm keeping it in the middle. So we're gonna make this Monday. And I may have to move it over a bit, especially when it comes to like Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. See how Wednesday um, was a little bit bigger? So we're gonna move this stuff over slightly. All right. Mm. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we're good on that end. So now I have to do um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and notes. So we're just gonna do a duplicate of this. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna add, and I know for the font, um, I think I use Benedict to try to get it as close to like the December font as possible. And I think this one was probably the closest uh, make that purple, make it a little bit bigger. Again, I may have to play around with this size to make sure, you know, it's still all the same size. And then we're going to make this Thursday. Oops. Widen it out. And I'm going to center in a second. Friday. Saturday. And then we're going to call this one notes. All right, so let's see. So this one is right here. And then we got this. So then for notes. And then for notes, I'm going to go ahead and um, drag this out of it. So that I can. Um, I think it's kind of in the center. It used to be that when I was trying to do it, like sometimes that they knows you're trying to center stuff like in in boxes and stuff, that it would be there, but for some reason it's not doing it. So, all right, so let's do this real quick. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna shorten this line so that it only goes to here. And then I'm gonna enlarge it so that I can make sure that it's, you know, where it's supposed to be. So we're going to do 125. So I see the lines look pretty good. All right. So go back to fit. And now I'm going to, you know what, let's duplicate this line and then just shorten it. All right. So now I'm going to put the lines in here. Drag it out a little bit. Center it. All right, so I'm gonna duplicate that. Uh oh, hold on. All right, that, 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 and this. And again, you gotta play around this with the size and to see what works for you. I've been doing this for a little bit, so I can kind of gauge the size a little bit. That one. I don't think. Oh, you know what it is? See how it's trying to line up with the squares? That's why it's not like in line. So I'm gonna just delete that one. So I'm gonna shift on my, on my computer and I'm gonna group it. And then I'm gonna duplicate. Cause when I do that, it makes it easier. Duplicate. Then I think I've got to do one more and I probably got to play with that one a little bit. I'll play with that one. Um, so let's see, one more. Now I apologize, I just had a slight interruption. A slight interruption. Um, Sorry about that. All right, um, let's finish this out. 
as a mom of five, it's never a dull moment. <laughs> and you know what? I think I'm gonna keep this like this and I'm just gonna move everything down a little bit. And just make the top part a little bit taller. There we go. All right, and then there we have it. So now I'm gonna have your chance, give you a chance to see all of them. So there you go right there and it looks just like the other ones. So the next thing that I'm gonna do in part two of the video, I am going to show you how to do the um, the daily, well, the weekly spread. So I showed you the monthly. Part two, I'm gonna show you the daily. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to comment below. I will also leave my contact information so that you can um, hit me up um, either on Facebook, Instagram, or email. All right, talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.